what is up in this video i'm going to cover everything that might happen could happen and what you can expect after you graduate from truck driving school now if you went to school and you went to school on behalf of a company and they paid for everything you already know what company you're going to if you went to school and you paid for it yourself and you graduated other companies have probably come to the school and already talked to you now for those of you that haven't picked a company yet and you paid for everything here are some questions you should ask each company how much your starting pay is how much your sign-on bonus is how long do you, does it take for you to get that bonus and what I mean by that is they'll break it up into payments you want to know how long it will take to get that bonus what benefits that company wants what that company core values is you're gonna to want to know if the company cares about the driver or not and how old the equipment is and how long or what else uh, how can I word it how often will you have to sit and wait for a load and if you are having to sit and wait for a load does the company pay for that time that you're losing having to sit and wait for a load so those are some questions you're going to want to ask each company that comes and talks to you or you reach out to and talk to and the dude in the truck next to me thinks I'm freaking crazy because I'm sitting here talking to the camera um now for those of you that know what company you're going to you graduated that company's called you told you this is the date you're going to be at the terminal blah 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 to be welcomed in and you got your date and you get there they're probably going to put you up in a hotel room you're probably going to get a greyhound bus ticket and you're probably going to be took to that terminal and you're going to be put up in a hotel room for three to three days to a week and you're going to go and your first day is really going to be going over just getting you signed up for your benefits if you want it your 401k us legal just paperwork pretty much well getting you into the truck driver thing um they're going to do a drug test this industry is strict on that they're going to do a drug test with the company i went to they did a hair follicle and a drug and a pickup test um your first day is going to be a lot introducing and stuff uh your next two to three days will probably just be more telling you about the company history what you can expect and what they expect out of you and then after all that you are going to be put on a list if you pass everything if you pass the drug tests and blah 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 and they they like you you're gonna be put on a list to be taken out on the road with a mentor every company is different you might only go out with a mentor for a week or you go out with a mentor for two months it varies with each company now what you need to understand especially with a lot of companies in their heads the school taught you how to drive the truck so if you still feel uncomfortable driving a truck you need to tell your mentor if there's something that you need to be covered more tell your mentor it goes back to the last video you need to learn to communicate do not shut down bottle yourself up and just say well I'll deal with it when I get on my own this is not the type of job where you need to get out on the road by yourself just to figure out something that's how accidents happen it's better for you to learn in the company yard and with another professional how to handle the situations and how to prepare yourself instead of you getting out here and just guessing now going back to what i said that company does not is not sending you out on the road with that mentor for that mentor to teach you how to drive you're with that mentor to learn how the company works which what they expect out of you as a driver how to operate the qualcomm and how to fill out paperwork and just getting you introduced into the industry of going to people and talking to stuff and basic information like that his job is not to teach you how to back 101 and how to drive 101 and all this other stuff you should have learned that at school with that being said do not just assume if you ask a question your mentor is going to be like well get out of my truck since you don't know how to do that a lot of them will work with you so keep that in mind after your time with your mentor I recommend let me stop back up a little bit after your time with the mentor 
I recommend when you get back to the yard to take a little breath and to see what the company is going to do next. A lot of them is going to assign you a truck. Now, when that, when that happens, you'll get assigned a truck. You'll get a paper to inspect the truck. And I have a video covering all that. So go check that video out. After you get your truck, after you're assigned to it, you have two options. You can start working or you can go on home time. If you were like me and you need money, start working immediately. And this goes back to one of the videos in the list where I was telling her, this is not an industry to where you can go home every weekend or every other week. You need to really get it in your head when the truck is not moving, when you are not dispatched, you are not making money. You do not get paid by the hour, you get paid by the mile. So keep that in mind. Now with that being said, if you want to go home every weekend, if you want to go home every other weekend, do not expect a $1,200 paycheck every week. It's not going to happen. Now I'm not saying there ain't companies out there that don't pay awesomely that you can do that, but starting out, it's not going to happen. Being brand new, you're not going to make a $1,200 paycheck and be able to go home every weekend and live the dream. You're going to have to put in your time, you're going to have to put in the hours, you're going to have to dedicate yourself to each company, the company you work for. Now, when you start, the company is automatically going to assume that, you've, that the mentor covered everything, you know how to do your job, and they're going to start dispatching you. And that's when you're out on your own. And before I jump, uh, let's uh, make sure my list. Uh... Okay. And <laughs> it's bad I got to make a list. Um, and they're going to start dispatching you, like I said. And that's when you start your career with that company. Word of advice, keep your record as clean as you can. Be as safety conscious as you can. Do not cut corners. Do not be lazy. Take this job very seriously. Be a professional. You hold a CDL, a Class A CDL. Be a professional. Do not get out here and be like, well, I got my CDL, I know everything, I'm gonna do this, this, my blah, 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 blah. You're a professional and you need to get that in your head. A lot of these people nowadays, they're getting these CDLs, they just don't care. They get out here and they get frustrated, they get mad and they jump from company to company. You're gonna have to put in your time. You're gonna have to learn the hard way, but always, keep in the back of your head that you're a professional and to get to the top you have to take baby steps you're not going to learn everything in one week so that's all that's going to cover in this video just you know the basics starting with the company and all this other stuff and I got a list I'm working on it but like the video drop a comment don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and check out the next video